Hello, you are extremely welcome to BBL BD. Time is 5.59 and it's day 27 on tonight's show. And in honour of yesterday's extreme school sports day task, limbering up for the race of her life, it's Jenny Bond, everybody! <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, here's the tactic, folks. Jenny, you don't know, get a little prick in your hand. Uh, and she will be competing against our all-action hero, Mike Hawk, everybody! Hey. And sprinting to the finish, we have Angel and Lisa! <laughs> who will be coming after this world's strongest housemate trophy. Plus, we have the nomination results for you later in the show. Nomination results, everybody? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but first, we're going to get the inside track uh, on uh, all the main events in the past 24 hours from the house uh, in the BBLB News 25. Uh, can we drop and give me 20, please, everyone? <laughs> Come on, down, 20, press-ups. <laughs> yeah. BBLB News 25, 24-hour news and then some. Hi. OK. This is, uh, this is the news with me, George Lamb. And I'm Jenny Bond with News 25. OK, housemates hear that Big Brother has banned three from banging on about Noreen. <laughs> He's so not for... Jenny's got a proper news voice. Uh, Noreen has trouble passing water. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's a shame. And Marcus is more than proud of his big, meaty balls. I'll uh, cover up where the third one was there with a bit of rice. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the headlines. God, I wish they weren't. George, it's time for the big stories. Now. Indeed, it is, Jenny. Yes, Sia Vash and Shri carried on yesterday's extreme sports day task at 11:36 p.m. Bravado brimmed from every pore as they went mano a mano in the garden. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Sivash! Oh no! You lost the can! No, why? Because he beat you! Come on, that yeah. sucks. You were not even close to me! What are you talking about? I mean, Tree, well done. Okay, then, come on then. Second time. Yeah, it's done. Oh, it's done. It's out for a can. It's out for a can. Oh, they are so manly, Jenny. Mm, almost as manly as you, eh? Every time nominee Halfwit has got very used to being the pick of the bunch, in fact, it seems he's starting to revel in the challenge. Watch here exclusively as he tries to predict his next eviction opponent. Uh, my prediction, I think it's going to be me versus Tree, and I think that's going to be really exciting. Um, so, but uh, but I won't, I won't say more about that and, until I find out if that is or isn't the result. Um, but uh, we'll see. You heard it here first. Find out later if he's right when we go to the house to reveal this week's nominees. Jenny, over to you. OK, and this morning at 9.41, housemates woke to find an ice cream stall, scooters and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yes, it's the Italy-themed shopping task, and housemates must celebrate all things stereotypically Italian. The ice cream, ice cream shop. Yeah. Oh the ice cream task. I said that the other day. Wouldn't it be good if we had an ice cream task? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, look! They must know that I'm half Italian. You're half Italian? Uh, hey, that was News 25, and I was Jenny Bond. My God, I wish it was Jenny Bond, too. <laughs> <laughs> BBLB News 25, 24 hour news, and then some. You've just seen her, but my first guest was a regular visitor to Buckingham Palace, but now she's casting her critical eye over a much more impressive residence with slightly less ornate gates, the Big Brother house, of course. It's Jenny Bond! Hello! Hello! How are we doing, Jenny? I'm good. I'm you, hot. I know, it's good. very hot in here today. Uh, how, how have you been enjoying the series so far? I very much enjoyed it. I love all the little love interests. I wonder what's going to happen. Do you think happen. they're for real? I don't know. Everybody thinks that everyone else is playing a game, which was when I was in the jungle. It was the same thing. I'm so naive. I think everyone's being straight. So really? I don't know. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what happens, eh? And obviously you were you were royal correspondent for 14 years. Am I right in saying that you must have some juicy gossip? Maybe you could share with us today. <laughs> well, what do you think the Queen's doing right now? 
Uh, ooh, uh, six o'clock, probably watching Big Brother, I'd imagine, no? No, no, I don't think so. She will be watching television, probably, but she hasn't got an engagement. I reckon she's got her little TV supper. She likes that. Knees up. Really? Yeah, Does yeah. she really yeah, have yeah. supper on her on, yeah, yeah, on, on her yeah, No yeah. way, I'm not having that yeah, for a yeah. minute. Watch a bit of telly, watch the news. Really? Right, OK, well, uh, well you'd know better than I do. Uh, I, had to, uh, I had to mention these shoes today. They're very nice. I believe Prince Charles gave you some stick about some shoes once upon a time. <laughs> he did. I always used to wear white stilettos, and right. wherever I was, I don't know, in a... A field of potatoes near St. Petersburg, I remember once, or right, in New he Zealand. White stilettos, regardless. Y yep, yep. He would say, oh, Miss Bond, wrong shoes again. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. He, he I love a bit of Prince Charles banter. <laughs> he can't beat it. Uh, now, I'm sure you're aware Rodrigo uh, is slightly fascinated with a member of the royal family. Should we have a Sorry, little look brother. at this? Would you like to meet the Queen? I would love to meet her. Maybe she watches Big Brother. It's one, it's one of my dreams. Oh, yeah? Yeah. OK. Hmm. How do you think it's possible to meet her? Oh. Do you think she watched Big Brother? Yeah, I don't know. She might do. She seems very friendly. Yeah, she's got a um, she's got a very dignified. Yeah, very nice uh, figure. Now, Jenny doesn't reckon the Queen is watching the uh, the uh, she's watching BBLB. She reckons she's watching the news. We called Buckhouse to get an official line. Uh, the official line there uh, on the Queen watching BBLB and Big Brother. No comment. Presumably too busy watching Big Brother, huh? Yeah, well, maybe. I just think she did watch some of the jungle because I was told that when I was in a coffin full of rats, she thought it was very amusing. Really? <laughs> right, OK. Well, that's, uh, imagine how cool that is. What about the princes? Do you reckon they like Big Brother? I think they might do, yeah. yeah? Sure, you know, they, they turn on the telly and have a lager. I'm do you, sure do you they think they... Yeah, I can't imagine the princes sitting down watching a bit of telly with a lager. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, do you think they've ever been to one and a half wits parties and got their faces painted? Well, I know he does seem to mix in those circles. He seems to know quite a lot about the Queen, doesn't he? Right, so, okay. yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, they've yeah. met. Uh, what about Rodrigo? Do you, do you think... I mean, do you think he stands a chance of meeting the Queen? Could you put in a good word? Maybe we could get him invited to one of the um, Buckingham House garden, the garden parties. parties. Yeah, he would I, fit in I, very well. I he would... is a nice little young man, I must and say. And does she come round and talk to you properly? When, or, or, or... If you're very lucky, yes. What, if she'll you're just come very and say, lucky. Good yeah. Well, no, you have to be ushered forward. Right, you, right okay, yes, you get ushered you forward because yeah. I've been on Big Brother. She's so <laughs> fascinating. Love the show. You know, yes, I know you, What's Rodrigo. that? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I also wanted to talk to you about manners. Obviously, manners in your line of work, you know, etiquette, extremely important. Some of the guys in the house proving to be a little bit uncouth. Have a look at this. This is still Tuesday. Coffee! Rude and nasty. Yes. Nasty. Oh, oh. Next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was no toilet bowl. I'm going to have to chip dry. If you don't drink it, I thought. But what they don't realise is that I absolutely hate this and they didn't read their stupid forms. I'm going to the house to have some sleep and then I will meet my friends. When I fart in bed, I tuck the covers in so you don't smell it. Is it just me or, and Carly and Sophie or are you, or you a fart as well? I did a massive one today. <laughs> it doesn't upset me. I just think it's not, it's not, it's not necessary. You're absolutely right, Rodrigo. It's not necessary. Mom, if you were watching, we at BBLB apologise to you. Ma'am. Ma Ma'am, ma sorry. Ma'am, yeah, ma'am. Got to say, like Ma'am's the American way, yeah, is it? Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Jenny, what, what do you make of all of this? It's quite disgusting, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, um, I, I have a lot of teenagers in my house, and uh, so I know, you right, know, okay, you're I know a good basically. fart when I hear right, one, okay. you know? <laughs> uh, now, as a, as a reporter, what would you say the biggest stories in the house are so far? Well, I, you know, I love all the big rows, the big rows about who's going to do the washing up, the cleaning over Angel. Love that. Love the love interest, though, between Sri and Noreen. I mean, it's, well, it's not, not really, going to work. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to work. He's in love. He's Unrequited in, love. Yeah, I, know, Unrequited. I, thought, I, kind of, I felt sorry for him, and then he dragged it on for that little bit too long. He's and, obsessed. And oh, he is. Yeah, I, I can't be doing with him, actually. He's like a really annoying like, mosquito you want to swat away. He, he drives you crazy, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, now, I believe yeah. you've put together a kind of chart for the hierarchy in the house, yeah? Yeah, well... I think probably Lisa's got it. I think yeah. people kind of respect her and they turn to we'll her. her. Who do, do we think Lisa's the boss in the house, guys? Yeah. 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 And, and who's down the bottom? Well, I think... Well, I, I, it's either three or... <laughs> three. Plus, 
Or half wit. I mean, half wit is rather. The poor guy's up every week. I know. I, I, I know. But he's, he's, he's putting a brave face on it. He's kind of dealing with I it. I like to think they're warming to him. I think the public actually warm to him, but Clearly. I like to think the housemates are. Clearly, right. Okay, well, we've got uh, Lisa up the top, half wit down the bottom there. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much for today. Give her a big round of applause. Hey. 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 Good news, everybody. The good news. Uh, Jenny's going to be staying around. She's going to be uh, reporting outside with Helicam. Helicam's back, everybody. Helly comes back, everybody. Yes. Uh, also, after the break, we will be crowning Angel or Lisa the world's strongest housemate, and one of our guests is going to be eating a thousand-year-old egg. That's disgusting. <laughs> Welcome back to BBLB. It's 6.13. I can now cross over live to our roving reporter, Jenny Bond. She's outside in the car park. Jenny, what is going on out there? Good. It's a long time since I've done something like this. Yes, I am reporting. I am live. I'm just outside the house, and we have got Helicam. And Amazing. Gonna... Yep. Are we excited? <laughs> Let's get buzzing. The, the, uh, the anticipation in the studio is incredible. It's as it should be. OK, let's have liftoff, then. Come on, Helicam! Up you All go. Right, Helicam's making its way up. Come on. Jenny, talk us through what's happening. Talk us. Come on, Helicam. Up, up, up. And she's Helicam. away. She's oh. away. Where are you sending her, Jenny? Over the garden. Go Look, on. She's a in bit colour left, now. A bit left. OK. Who's there? Oh, who's that? Look, someone's waving at us. Hello. Who's there? Oh, it's Lisa. Oh. Lisa's there. She's she... waving. Hello, Lisa. Yes, she looks fantastic. Oh, there's Sri with his ice cream hat on. I thought they'd all be naked. It's so hot. But come on, Helicam, let's zero down a bit. Zero down towards Lisa. She's even got Helicam kind of <laughs> chat. Come Yay. on, what's going on now? They're all waving, they're beckoning Helicam down. Down. What's down. happening, Jenny? Well, they're just waving at us. Where are the rest of them? Go on, Lisa, call the rest in. Oh, Helicam, can we can we go anywhere else? Dude, can we do like a loop the loop or anything, Jenny? That would be fun. Let's loop the loop. I don't know if helicopters can do loop the loops. Can they? No, do... They probably what? can't. They probably can you can't. See, can you see what they're wearing, Jenny? Well, she looks as if she's wearing a chef's outfit or something like right, that. Okay. Is she's ignoring. She's oh, out. Oh, very excited now ah. about it. Yeah. Incredible access with Helicam, guys. I think you'll all agree. <laughs> Mind-blowing stuff. I've never seen anything like this. I think that'll do us, don't you guys? Yeah. yeah. Jenny, bring her home. Bring her home, Jenny. Helicam, up a bit, up a bit. Come along, Helicam, up <laughs> and out. Come on, Helicam. Oh, it's lingering, it's man. lingering. Get her out. All right, here she comes. OK, that's All enough right. action from no, the... That is enough action. You're absolutely right. Thank you very much, Jenny and Bob, everybody. Yeah. We're down. Now, the housemates nominated yesterday. You will get the exclusive result later. But here's what they said. Can you guess who it is yet? <laughs> he is disrespectful. He just seems a bit distant. Like he's his own, his own little like world. Two faced. He's just creeping around me all the time, like trying to like get people not to nominate him and stuff. Just that sort of political scheming things that she does. I just find him quite patronising when he talks. He purposely likes to swear all throughout a conversation. I don't think she's a very nice person. I think she's rather a nasty person, definitely a selfish person. He's good at everything, believe it or not. He can do everything. The way he talks with people is really, really does hurt. And I just find that hard to believe. I know when someone's playing a game and I feel like he's playing me. He'd be nice all the time, all the time. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. I don't really, like, understand things he does. It's annoying me. It's good to be a bit sneaky in a funny way, in a jokey way. That's cool, but if you actually have intentions, that's not on. Now, not only will they be dealing with the fallout from that, the housemates woke up this morning to discover they're in Little Italy. Let's have a look at the new task, exclusive BBL footage, guys. No, no, to you see what I mean? Like, it's just yeah, on the edge. Yeah, you are doing very well. Oh. Basically, so they're going to... No, they're going to tell you all the scores. They're going to tell and you... And I've got to remember And him. you've got to try and remember him. Oh, help me, help me! Um. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Can I take your order, please? 
So, Halfwit, Carly and Rodrigo have become the three tenors. Dogface and Shri are running an ice cream shop. Sia Vash has become a fashionista. Marcus and Noreen have become artists. And Lisa is a football journal reporting on Chris and Charlie. But one person who would have been useful in an Italian task would have been Maro, the Italian stallion, everybody. <laughs> and then we found out... Mario had never even been to Italy. That's right, George. I'm not even Italian. I need to grow a moustache and let me hair grow. What a nightmare. Mario so you from have been Witness. Any good at all. Right, no, Mario from I'm, Witness. Absolutely, right. mate. Oh, bummer. Right, Angel, how do you think you would have got on in that task? Looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it would have been going to be fine. It's fantastic. Good task. Yeah, Lisa, really... would you like to be back in there getting involved? Which role would you like in that? Oh, the head of house will be brilliant. You'd like to be head of house? There yeah. isn't a head of house anymore, babe. Eating the ice cream. <laughs> what about, I've never got a chance. <laughs> what about, what, what are you eating? Chucking exactly. into the ice cream, yeah. really? Right, OK. Uh, we were thinking maybe the fashionista for you. Absolutely, I'm the fashion icon, so it's everyone wants icon. to... fashion icon, yeah, Woo! from your mouth, Lisa, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, yesterday, we pitched these guys uh, in a head-to-head -head challenge to find out who is... <laughs> World's Strongest Housemaid! Well, I can tell you, Angel won the agility round and Lisa won the strength round, but today we had the, uh, the decider, the endurance round. Shall we take a look at how they got on, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's BBLB's strongest housemate. Welcome back to the Elstree Car Park Arena. It's delicately poised at one all, and it's time for the final event. In a test of brute strength, our competitors must pull the automobile all the way across the finish line. Well, with this event, it's all about technique and obviously the car. I like different challenges, so I think it's going to be interesting and the most important thing is going to be entertaining. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, come on, me and you, just up there. Come on, come on, let's do it. Angels limbering up for the big push. I mean, pull. It's a jump start for Angel, but she's clearly finding this a real drag. Angel's certainly looking a bit ropey. She's been camshafted and she's stalled. Looks like she's failed her MOT and this challenge. It's heavy, it's getting heavy when it's getting up. Lisa's motoring along. She's got great pulling technique. She's really trying hard to win this. Lovely big headlamps on that. Lisa shifting into top gear and she's cruising to victory. A turbocharged performance from Lisa. You've got to dig deep, your heart's pounding, and you feel like you're going to slip. And it's just that last sort of little, come on, you're nearly there. Give it everything you've got then. <laughs> Lisa, uh, you are the official winner of... World's Strongest Housemaid! Trophy for you. It's an homage to Angel's artistry, and we've also got a nice kind of green time thing. Very well nice. Done. Pass that over. Look at that lovely trophy. Thank you. <laughs> Mario's curtsying. <laughs> she did brilliantly. Uh, Angel, are you disappointed? I'm still a rock star. Oh, that is good news. That's good news. Uh, don't worry, Angel. We've got a chance to redeem yourself a bit later on in the show. Uh, but for now, give them a big round of applause, everybody. Do you want a ticket to the hottest party of the year? Yeah, you fancy meeting Davina and having a nosy around the camera runs, yeah? Thought you did. Well, Big Brother is ten years old and he's in the mood to celebrate. Here's how you can be part of it. The BBLB team are looking for BB's biggest Uber fans to come on the show and play the George Lamb Quiz of the Decade. If we think you're worthy, you could be invited to take part in a series of challenges throughout BBLB this summer. The Ultimate Uber fan will then travel here in style to help celebrate Big Brother's 10th anniversary on Friday the 17th of July. They'll have a behind-the-scenes tour of Big Brother, meet the gorgeous Davina, and they'll get a chance to not just watch the show, but actually take part in it by becoming a Big Brother cameraman. To apply, go to channel4.com slash BBLB and email us your name and contact number. Applications will close at midnight on Friday the 3rd of July and applicants must be over 18. 
What a competition, eh, guys? Huh? How about that? Now, the deadline to enter is this Friday, so get in whilst you still can. Today's contenders, uh, first up, we got uh, we got Jamie. Jamie, why are you the biggest of all Big Brother fans? Uh, well, basically, um, my uh, pub football team won um, the league and cut double, and yep. we arranged a party on a Friday night. Uh, and you didn't go? I didn't go because I was watching the Lulk show. So oh, I thought that, that. That yeah, is a uh, serious commitment to the cause. <laughs> Ellie, what about you? You're a bigger fan than Jamie? Yeah, definitely. I used to stay up when I was nine, past my bedtime to watch Big Brother. Wow. I know. OK, do you miss... <laughs> you strike me as the kind of person who misses live streaming. Um, I don't. I promise no, no. I don't. OK. I watch the live streaming. All right, OK. And what about you, Luke? You the biggest of all Big Brother fans? Yeah, definitely. Um, when I auditioned this year, because I didn't get through, I went around three times. Every Friday as well, I like to hold in a little eviction party. Okay. I get about 30, 40 people come round to mine. We have drinks and celebrations. Was this a kind of homage to Lisa, this...? Um, yeah, thing? basically, oh, yeah. I had it done yesterday, off? so... Yesterday I had it done, so... Just because I wanted to be like Lisa, because girl power all the way, I love it. Too late now, look. No, too no. late now. So, uh, who's going to get evicted from the game and who's up for eviction from the house? You can find out in three. I refuse to diminish my character to survive. I refuse. I would rather be hated than, than make myself look so disgusting. Oh, she's lovely, she's lovely, she's good-looking, she's good-looking. Not one person in this house has said nothing nice about me, but these two are Mary. Welcome back to BBLB. The time is 6.26. Whoever came up with the words motivation and endurance had my next guest in mind. He's been in combat in some of the toughest war zones in the world and he's chowed down on roadkill when times got tough. Oh, not again. Not again. Where... What, He's MIA. Have we got an ETA? Well, can we just book him a cab next time? Good entrance, Sydney ladies. How about that? But the milk tray man, Mike. How the devil are you? Another day above ground. You've bro. got you've got new boots, Mike. I like these a lot. Yeah, brother, these are high speed. They look real good. They kick they, butt good too. They kick butt good too. I, I'm sure they do. Now we're talking about tasks. We're talking about endurance. We're talking about motivation. How do you think they're doing in all the tasks so far? Well, so far they ain't meeting the muster, and they're looking a bit lame and lazy. Really? That's a fact. You're I mean, not happy with them in the task? Not no? at all. I mean, the bottom line is, for soldiers in battle, the motivation is obvious. You win, you live. What we have here is a clear case of failure to motivate. Really? OK, so do we th think we need to kind of up the ante a little bit then, just, Mike? Just a smidge. Right, OK, is there anybody who's impressing you at all? Yeah, I think that fellow with the... Uh... Wannabe Wolverine haircut. Oh, the cyber. Yeah, Marcus. 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 Yeah, I think, you think he, he's doing he, all right. He's the wannabe drill sergeant in a bunch. Should we have a look at Marcus in some of the tasks, guys? Yeah. Let's have a look. When I do a test, if I don't get 100, percent I have to do it again. I have yeah. to do it again, even if I pass. Are you lot mental? Well, yeah. We've got two days to do a poxy little task like this, and you're all crumbling straight away. <laughs> Rules: Shree must not <laughs> about at all. It's not a race. Slow down. Yeah. Don't let him come in here again. If he comes in, send him back out. No. Listen, listen, all right, you two, do you think this helps us do this? Shush. Everyone's just been a bit too negative about it. Yeah. The harder it is, the harder you should try. Huh? Finish strong, more body movement. Come on. Thank you. That was easy, and I shall leave you with this. <clears throat> Big brother is easy. Right, OK, he's puts a lot of effort in there, a lot of commitment. Yeah, absolutely. Why do you think he puts in so much commitment? I mean, there's no doubt he wants to be the informal leader. Right, OK, so he's, he's just trying to really create some dominance in the house, That's yeah? That's fact, yeah. OK, now, you've actually put together a few uh, kind of highlights or, or, you know, headlines here of how he can be stronger in the house, yeah? Roger. Uh, first off, uh, you've given us... What have you given us? The stick. Okay. I'm assuming this is a kind of metaphorical stick, not, not something actually to beat them with. No, I like the beaten stick, but... Yeah, you're right. Right, okay. The deal is, um, 
Basically, an informal leader doesn't have the authority to kick butt and take names as his motivator, so he's got to resort to some guerrilla strategy. So the stick is basically sabotage and destroy. Yeah. He's got to sabotage their supply lines. That means anyone who's not supporting his plans, he's got to steal their food, steal anything he can, and undermine them whenever he gets a okay, chance. OK, but that's going to cause a lot of problems in the house. Yeah, well, you know, it's... Don't we just... I love how it's, Mike it's just combat. makes this all into yeah. a war zone, essentially. Right, that's okay. it. That's it. Uh, now, now, destroy, yeah. OK? Very clearly, what he's got to do is he's got to designate a target, someone who is the most opposite of his position, and he's right. got to take him out. And he's got to basically undermine him every chance he gets. And in this case, he's actually doing a good job because he's focused on Shri. I know, but he's giving Shri a really hard time. I and mean, it's all right not to like Shri, but, but you know, you can't, I mean, he's really at him morning, noon and night. Well, now, that's why he's got to employ the other prong of the attack. OK. Which is, ah, uh, this is the carrot. Mm, yeah. The carrot. OK, again, yeah. he's not actually going to go around feeding them carrots. This is just a, a kind of metaphor for encouraging them, goading them on a little bit. That's yeah? a fact. He's got to slap them with one hand and then stroke them with the other. So he can be mean, <laughs> but he's got to be... The old slap-stroke combo, it, yeah? Yeah, some people dig it. And uh, so what he's got to do is he's got to provide service and support. Now, he doesn't have anything to give, so he's got to offer services whenever he can. Someone does something that he likes, he's got to say, hey, let me do this for you, let me do a favor for you, do some cleanup or chore for you, because they'll then say, ah, it's good for me to then let him be the leader and do what he says, because he's going to give me his service and support. Right, OK. Do we think it's likely that Marcus is going to establish himself as the leader of the house, guys? Yes! Yeah? OK. Well, we'll have to wait and see. And obviously, yesterday, Extreme Sports Day, I'm sure you enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. How do you think they did? I think they did great. Yeah? Do you think uh, you could do any better? Uh, I know I could. He kn very <laughs> confident there from Mike Hall. <laughs> Should we find out, guys? Should we find out if we can? Uh, we're going to pit Mike against Angel and Jenny Bond in our very own version of the Egg and Spoon Race. Here's a little reminder of what the housemates had to do yesterday. Set. This oh, is it, ladies and gentlemen, the egg and spoon race of the century. As you can see behind me, our contestants. How are we doing down there, guys? We all right? Yeah! They've got to come down the stairs, through the chicane, all the way up the home straight, and they're going to go right through the doors there of our studio. Once they get inside, they have to eat the entire egg. It's a 1,000 years old. It is disgusting. And then they've got to show me a clear mouth before we've got a winner. Guys, do you understand how it's going to work? Woo! Are you ready? Yeah, On your yeah. marks, get set, go! Hey. We all know Mike Hawk's probably going to win this one. OK. Jenny Bond is running ahead. Oh, Angel's dropped her egg. Down, Angel's dropped down. her egg. Mike Hawk, hey. uh, predictably, is doing rather well. Uh, let's see how they're doing. Go on, Jenny. Go on, Jenny. Oh. Not getting involved. No, massive surprise. Oh. Angel's got what looks like Claire. Mike's just eating the entire thing. Mike didn't didn't go to peel it. He just ate it. Let's see if he can get it down. There's, there's a thousand year old egg all over Angel's face. That is pretty disgusting. I want a clean mouth before we have a clean winner, mm. Jenny. I'm glad you didn't do that. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. She might come out of the house, but Angel's the winner in our eyes, everybody. Dignity from Jenny Bond there. Wouldn't get involved. Beautiful thing. Sorry. And now Mike Hawk, huh? What about that? I thought you said you could do better. Unlucky. What does the egg taste like, it's by the way? Well, as we used to say in the house, amazing. Mm. Amazing. Did you like that? It yeah, it's OK. Absolutely foul. That's <laughs> disgusting. And you've lived off animals off the side of roads and stuff, yeah? But you're going to be... That smells disgusting now. Uh, if, you, uh, if you missed the infamous Sheep Wolves individual chat between Chris Dogface and Halfwit, you missed an absolute cracker. So the good news is we've recreated it for you. Check this out. That stinks. <laughs> Freddie, do you think we're sheep? Because I heard you last night say that we're sheep and that we follow. I think in the house there are sheep and there are wolves and there are individuals. And what am I? You're going to say a sheep? Well, go on. Yeah, 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 but I don't mean that as an insult. How am I a sheep, though? I think your true personality has not yet, has not yet shone through in this house. What am I, then, Freddie? Hmm. 
Intriguing. I think you're a sheep in some ways. But perhaps a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing can be sexy too. Oh, I'm very sexy. Do you fancy him, Freddie? No, I think Chris is one of the only people in the house I don't fancy. <laughs> and what's great is he has a goatee as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Live from Boreham Wood, oh, it's yes. the George Lamb oh. Quiz of the Decade. You're right to be excited. Uh, our Uber fans are in position by using only the power of speech and the process of elimination. We want them to guess which housemate is hiding behind me. Please illuminate the box. Who could it possibly be? They have to deduce which ex-housemate is in the box using only questions to which the answer is yes or no. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Jamie, you are first, sir. Guess away. Two minutes uh, to the Are you female? Are you female? No. Oh, it's, uh, it's a man. Um, were you between Big Brother 1 and Big Brother 5? Between 1 and 5? No, since 5. Luke. Was you a winner? Not a winner, man, <laughs> since 5. Uh, was you in a relationship in the house? Go, Jamie. Do you have dark hair? Do you have dark hair? No, not dark hair. Fair man since five relationship um, in the house, Luke. Was you evicted? Yes, they were evicted. Uh, was you in Big Brother 7? Not in 7. Since five, but not in 7. Man, evicted. Fair. Were you in Big Brother 8? Wasn't in 8. In Big seven, Brother nine. 6. Right, I think we all know where we're going now, I hope. Uh, Big Brother 9. Right. Um, are you Rex? Bam! Have some of that! Hey, we've got a winner over there. Come on out. Come on, come on Rex. Get out here. Come on, Ellie's seen that. Ellie, whilst Will's what, Rex took his outfit off before he came out. Uh, Ellie, you've got to get rid of one of these other Uber fans. Who's it going to be? I'm really sorry. Can I get rid of Jamie? Oh, Jamie, time to go, mate. You've done brilliant. Give him a big round of applause. Uh, so the news is Ellie and Luke will be going head-to-head -head in the second round. After the break, we'll also be joined by another mystery housemate uh, for round two of... Live from Boreham Wood, it's the George Lamb Wizard of the Day. And we will be telling you exclusively who's up for nominations this week. Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. It is 6.41. I've got some breaking news for you. Carly has asked Big Brother if they can lock Halfwit in the diary room forever, maybe. I don't know how long for, actually. Uh, and uh, we've also got a clip for you guys. Uh, this is the three of them. Shri, uh, I think it's three Halfwit and Carly uh, trying to be the three tenors. Check this out. <laughs> Nella la fredda stanza All'alba vincerò I mean, that wasn't bad, was it, actually? And it was Rodrigo, not Shree, my bad. Uh, now it's time for... Live from Boreham Wood, it's the George Lamb Wizard of the Day. Right, uh, now, Ella, you very cleverly guessed it was Rex. However, I'm going to throw the cat amongst the pigeons. I'm going to offer you another mystery ex-housemate. Please, can you illuminate the box? <sighs> right, uh, looks like a lady. Should she gamble Rex or keep Rex? Keep, keep or get... Keep Rex, keep Rex. What do you want to do, Ellie? Can I keep Rex? Going to keep Rex, yeah. everyone. Come on out. Let's see if Ellie's made a wise choice. Come out, mystery housemate number two. It's only Amy. Hello. Amy, you jump in there with Luke. Say hello to Luke. Luke, are you, are you, are you happy with Amy, Luke? Sorry? Are you happy with yeah. Amy? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. He's just, he's just happy to be here. <laughs> uh, right, uh, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to ask each Uber fan a question in turn. You guys can answer for five, or you can pass it over to your respective housemate for ten points. There can be no conferring. Do you understand, Rex? Do you understand, Amy? Yes. No cheating, guys. There's two minutes on the clock. All is to play for. One of you might 
be making that step closer to the diary room. Can I get the first question? Yes, I can. Right, here we go. Uh, which uh, two Big Brother 7 housemates spoke fluent Welsh? You for five, Ellie. Glyn and Imogen. You're absolutely right. Five points in the bag. <laughs> which Big Brother winner had an identical twin? Over to you, Luke. Five if you answer. Ten if you pass. Sam or Amanda? Uh, no, I'm afraid uh, it was Kate Lawler. Uh, who, uh, who threw a glass of water over Susie uh, on her way out of the house in BB7? Grace. Right. Grace, absolutely. Uh, right, uh, next question. Uh, Frederico, uh, Frederico, and which other BB4 was, uh, was double evicted on day 29? Pass. I've no idea, I'm sorry. No idea, I'm afraid it was John Tickle. Uh, can you name two Big Brother winners not born in the UK, not including celebrity? Five, if you Nad answer. Nadia. Yep. And... Um, have to hurry you a little um, bit, I'm afraid, Ellie. Nadia and Pete. No, uh, you could add Brian Dowling or, uh, or Shil Pachetti. Uh, right, OK, which BB3 housemate failed uh, the roller disco task because he couldn't get his contact lenses in quick enough? Uh, five of you answer, Luke, ten of you pass it over. Pass. Uh, it was I Tim... don't know either, I'm sorry. Uh, it was Tim Cully. Uh, in Big Brother 6, which innovation did BB use to punish naughty housemates? Um, Five if you answer, ten if you pass can it over to pass Rex. It, please? Yes, you're gonna pass it over. Uh, Rex, what did they use? Gonna have to rush you, mate. You would have been sent to it a lot, I'd imagine. Oh, the jail. <laughs> no, the naughty step, the naughty <laughs> step. Uh, which Big Brother Seven housemates recently married each other? Lisa and Mario? No, it was Grace and Mikey. Uh, the big day for Lisa and Mario hasn't happened yet. I am looking for an invite. Uh, in BB7, Susie Verico became a housemate after she found what in a wrapper of a chocolate bar? The golden ticket. Yeah, absolutely right. See, I think we've got a super fan here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, which BB7 housemate had a top tech single in Ireland called Finglass? <laughs> uh, it was Spiral. Can I get these scores? 15-0 uh, to Ellie. We've got a winner, everybody. Congratulations. We'll see you uh, in the next round in a couple of weeks. Right, okay. right. Oh, I'm exhausted after that. It's web time, everybody. Uh, joining us to push my buttons is Big Brother Online Interactive Editor, Joe Coffey, everybody. How are you doing, Joe? Right. You all right? Yes, good, good, good. Is it all going crazy in the interactive world? It's all world? going crazy. Yeah. The heat is turned up in the web world, it's indeed. It's turned up in here in... a little bit as well. <laughs> uh, now, there's, you've been web scraping for the last few weeks, right? Well, we have, we have. We've been web scraping, but to but be honest... But you've gone one first. We've raised that bar, Wow, George. I didn't know we you have could go higher than a web scrape. Neither did we, neither did we, but we have. Did anybody know? No one knew. Nobody knew you could get You know better. now. Right, okay. You know now. Uh, yeah. What we've been doing is web trending. Oh, no so way. Get out of here. Web trending. Web trending. It's a I brilliant don't... thing, and it involves a doctor on Twitter called Dr. Cassio. A real doctor? Well, I don't believe he's medically trained, right, but he's okay. very, very good at Twitter. And what he's done, basically, is taken all the tweets, so all the mentions yes. of uh, certain things, and collates them and makes really fancy graphs to see what's talked about Have you got any of said fancy graphs Well, for it's us? so it, we so have. It turns out we've been doing one about the housemates yeah. and, like, who's the most popular housemate. So I believe we've got one here. Okay. As you can see, Shree, Shree, way off the radar. And when you say popular, you just mean the one who's Twitted about the most. Yes, so it could be negative. Most. It's just yeah, it's, it's the exactly. most kind of the action most, on Twitter, right? Yeah, the okay. most topical, really. So he's gone over 6,000, way Angel's off. quite high Angel, up there. She's yeah. the second. Doing well, uh, she's doing second well, one, 5 right? plus, and okay. Noreen as well. Bit around the 3,000 so, so they've mark. had, so, so Angel, for example, has had over 5,000 mentions on Twitter. Yeah. That is, not, is anybody times. following them on Twitter? Angel, are you, um, are you terribly happy about that? Yes! Yeah, he's very happy about that. OK. <laughs> uh, what else have you got? Well, he's also, as well, he does events, so yep. uh, sort of things that have been uh, Twittered about. So we had a competition for us. He set up a graph, Big Brother versus Wimbledon. No so, way. We're winning. No, we're, we're, we're getting winning. tweeted about more Yay. than Wimbledon. Yay! That's well, we're tweeted impressive. about way more than Wimbledon. I mean, right. they've got a roof, but they haven't got as many tweets as no, us. No, you're so absolutely we're right the about 9, that. We're reaping the 9,000-plus mark And that well. is over 9,000 yeah. tweets, what, yeah. this week or month? Well, this or... is since the beginning, so that, as you can see, That's when we started... That's a lot started, of tweets. Yeah, there was a lot of tweets then, and sort of around the live nominations as well. And they around, peak uh, a little bit, time, yeah? Peaking as well, right, okay. and it's sort of going on and, and so forth. Maybe yeah. people at the tennis too busy to tweet. Well, who knows? Right, yeah. OK, and you've got another one for us also, I yes, believe. Yes, OK, he did um, a fight that I've been dying to see for a while. Yeah. And it was Wolverine versus Marcus. Wow, who's Marcus winning? Marcus won. Marcus, Marcus is in won. the game. Brilliant Marcus stuff. He won. Wolverine. He won sort of 
they were on a par for a while in the middle of June, like right, people okay. were sort of you know, tweeting about both of them. But I think not a massive nominated... surprise if anybody saw the latest Wolverine movie. Absolute turkey. <laughs> Absolute turkey. Not getting a lot of tweets. Uh, has there been any celeb tweets? There has. There has always celeb tweets. There's uh, Holly Willoughby. I'm assuming she's tweeting. We just wanted is, to put a picture of her. Well, up. she's very lovely, and I'm yes. glad to have her right next to me. But she says, Do I or do I not get into Big Brother this year? Should, Ho should Holly get hooked? Yes. 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 We all know the answer to that. We all know. And uh, Heat Mag's Boyd Hilton. Yeah. Yeah. Friend of the lovely Stars. Boyd. He says, Rodrigo is my new hero. Really? Yeah. A lot so of people starting lovely. to love Rodrigo now. You, you're liking Rodrigo a bit more now, guys. He's really lovely digging boy. his heels a in a little boy. bit in the house now. And uh, yeah, yeah, he is. I mean, he's uh, he, he's he's kind of Sticking his popularity is going he's, more. He's, he's got know, amazing I, teeth. He's he has a very got good amazing dancer. teeth. Yeah. People yeah. generally tend to like him. I like him, people which with really good teeth. It's important. Me too. And now speaking of ex-housemates, I believe Spiral's been at it as well. Spiral has been at it. BB7 Spiral is doing. Video forget. blog from YouTube, right? Okay. And uh, he's basically filming himself, uh, looking at all the updates from the house and all uh, the goings on from BB10. So I do believe we've got a sneak preview of what's happening in oh, Spiral's I can hardly contain video myself. YouTube let's have a look. world. Uh, let's have a look. Halfway, I feel sorry for him. I think they all have have all. Um, let me start again. I feel sorry for him. I think they all they have all been too quick to judge him. I hope he stays on Friday. Well, as we all know now, he did stay on Friday, which is good because I think half, way, half wit, half wit is a good house, me. Do not give up your day job. <laughs> oh, man uh, of many talents, a man yeah. of many talents, living the dream as well. I know he's not the only person been blogging as well. Who else? Mario and Lisa. No way. <laughs> It's a lovely blog. It right. is a really lovely blog. In fact, we were all sort of gathered around looking, and when you wrote about Angel, how upset you were that Angel was evicted, we nearly shed a tear. Really? Honestly. You're such a character, yeah. though. I mean, we blog every day for MSM UK. Hello, bloggers. Hello, Selena. Hello. <laughs> MSM bloggers every day. OK, we'll just leave it at bloggers, shall we? Yeah? <laughs> good, good. Right, OK. Now, we want to see yeah, all your emails and your videos or anything else you might see that's BB-related. Uh, if you can send them in to us, that would be great. For now, give Joe a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Now, uh, I know you've all been holding your breath for this moment. Uh, it's time to find out who's up for eviction this week. Yay! The housemates nominated for eviction this week are Halfwit, Sealish, and Shri. Yeah. That's it. All right. Good luck, you two. Right. This is free. Good luck. Well, how about that? It was just moments ago, as always. Uh, it's up to you to decide who goes. Here is how to vote. <laughs> to evict Halfwick, call 090-16-16-05. To evict Shree, call 090-16-16-16. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Oh, it's three or half with this week's guys. What do we reckon? Three. Lovely lady in the hat. What are we thinking? Half wit. Half wit up again. He yeah, must be so depressed. I really yeah, I really don't like him. He's not doing nothing for the house at all. But what, even with all that dopey singing and yeah, all that. Yeah, but it's just pointless. It's just, it's just really. But the, what yeah. about Shri though? She's a character. Yeah, you yeah, like Shri. Who character. else likes Shri? Who wants Shri? Yeah. 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 Who likes Shri? Go down here, Mr. Jamie. You want Shri to stay? Yeah, Shree definitely. Yeah. Really okay. Who do you think? Who do you think voted for who? Who do you think put Shree up for? It's the first Probably time. Probably all of them. Really? Really? You think they finally had Laurie, enough? Yeah, especially after last night, what he's done last night, was washing up and all that. I know. He I just know. didn't do nothing. He doesn't do nothing. Right, OK. <laughs> Let's go find out what our guests think. Uh, guys, uh, nominations there. Ooh. We've got Shree and Hartley. Hey. What do we think, yeah. Angel? Oh. Who's going to be following you out? Oh, I think... Will he manage to stay in for another week? Yes, I can't wait to see Shree. We were good friends, and but unfortunately, I think he's going to leave the house. And I, I, I love Hartley. He's fantastic and 
So I'm going to see Shri, I think, on Friday. Right, OK. How do we think Shri's going to react in the house, Mario? Do you think it's going to be difficult for him? Because I, I know he's probably feeling they're ganging up against him slightly now. I know. It's unfortunate, really, because he's a big character. And I'm just hoping people in India are going to vote for him and keep him in. Because, right. he, he's, for me, he's funny, he's entertainment. Right, OK. And what about, Mike, from a survival perspective, if these two guys want to really dig their heels and stay in the house, what would you be telling them? Shree is a wink link. Get him out. What's that? <laughs> Shree is a wink link. Get him out. Really? OK, but imagine, imagine. Calm down, everybody. Uh, imagine you, we can get a message into Shri. We're going to tell Shri how he can stay in the house. What would your advice be to him? Lay down, give it up. <laughs> really? <laughs> just, what, just lay the down? The other things I would say I can't say on TV. Right, OK. Uh, Jenny, what do you reckon is going to happen? Would you like Halfwit to stay in? Yeah, I think it's become a tradition that every week he's going to get uh, nominated. But I want him to stay there, and I think Shri should go. If he wants to stay, he's just got to... Yeah, lay Hang on a minute, up. guys. Shri's great <laughs> entertainment, isn't he? Yeah. She likes her. He's a funny guy. He's, he's doing his best. He's not, he's, not, he's not malicious at all, no, is he? Know, but have some pity yeah. on the other housemates living with him. I mean, that's impossible, isn't and it? And did you see the way he answered the phone for the ice cream vendor? I thought that was quite <laughs> funny. <laughs> Right, OK, so who do we think, who do we think, I mean, we're kind of, we're almost a third of the way through. Who, who's your favourite? Who do you think might be there come the last day? I think Halfwit. Really? Chances, you yeah. think Halfwit's going to yeah. battle all the way through? I can't wait to kiss him again! Wouldn't it be amazing <laughs> if Halfwit got nominated every week and then he finally won? Yeah. I'd be the, I absolutely think. the happiest. OK, well, yeah. listen, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, give all my guests a massive round of applause. <laughs> Uh, join me tomorrow at 6pm when Kieran Bracken will be joining me. And don't forget to watch the main show, Channel 4, tonight at 10 o'clock. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.